So here we are on Miami Beach, a very compact island, much to do, uh, very small island, a lot of tourists, a lot of places to eat, the beach is on this side, just a very interesting place to roll. Today I got my Power Slide Imperial Skates, check it out. So these are the skates of choice I'll be rolling in today. I wanted a tri skate, tri skate setup because you roll faster, smoother, and they're just interesting to look at. People like the big wheels. So here's Miami. mentioned it was good to get comfortable with your falls that way when you know you are going to have one you know what to expect not necessarily fall on purpose but test your edges there's a lot of rollerbladers here check it out good job guys Nice and friendly atmosphere. A lot of tourists. We got a gym so you can come and work out outside punching bag
We've got plenty of volleyball nets. Can't even count them all. It looks like I found the green bicycle trail. It actually wasn't that hard to find to be honest with you. As soon as I got off the Miami wall, I just continued to follow the sidewalk and it led me to this. I like the fact that it's on both sides of the street. That way I don't hit a bicyclist coming in towards me. The weather is beautiful today. The current temperature, 76 degrees. It's kind of funny because we got a lot of messages from our friends indicating that it was 40 degrees in Houston. And here we are in Miami. I could have continued to go further here, but I decided to go ahead and turn around and continue the opposite direction on the same bicycle trail. This is the opposite side of the street now. And for the most part, it's actually pretty clear. I expected it to be a little more congested today. People seem to be pretty nice and friendly over here too. Maybe they're just all tourists like me. Rollerblading in an unfamiliar area can be challenging. I am actually quite thrilled and happy that I brought these skates. I seem to be rolling in them very comfortably. They haven't gave me a whole lot of issues. There are some minor things, but for the most part, they roll pretty good. You know it says a lot whenever you can take a pair of skates traveling.
Sonia and I are going to the beach. Here's Sonia. Here's a shot of the beach. <laughs> the waters are definitely a lot clearer here. My wife and I, we both ate at this place called Senior Frogs. And actually, it wasn't that bad. We had a couple of coupons because they were advertising the restaurant. And this is what drew us to it. If you stop at any kind of tourist destination or information booths, you can get these coupons to restaurants in the area and you can save on certain places that you may go to. So right now I'm heading to a local destination. My wife is already there and I'm going to meet her. I was told that this place sells skates, so I wanted to check it out. And this way, whenever you come to Miami, you can know the local destinations as well. So far here in Miami, I have seen a lot of people rollerblading. I haven't seen too many people quad skating. In fact, I haven't seen one yet. Growing up in Houston, Texas, there's a lot of roller rinks and roller derby skates and people quad skating. So it's something I was used to. Which one do you prefer? Inline skates or quad skates? And why? Would you roll in the street with them? Or just in the roller rinks? Is there actually a quad skate that is good for the street? Maybe with street wheels? That would be something I would like to know. If that was the case, maybe I might go out and get me a pair. And roll them in the streets. I think I see my wife just up ahead. Yep, there she is. All right guys, I am in Miami, Florida. Right now I am currently at the Fritz Skate bike and surf shop this is where I'm gonna buy me a brand new pair of inline skates let's see what they got <laughs> 